I knew at a young age that something was amiss. I didn't have like the words to describe like how I felt at that point in time. I'm female born by like my sophomore year of high school. I heard the word like transgendered. I was like, wow, that just grabs me to a T. I always felt that way. It definitely wouldn't, wouldn't have been possible for me to continue living as a female. I can't even really describe, you know, the feeling of having your body in some ways betray you. I had come out to my mom when I was 15. That started things to be really, really rocky between my mom and I. Immediately after I told her that you know I wanted to start transition, I wanted to start living as male full time. Her exact reaction was, "You can do that. You just can't live here." And that was my introduction to the streets. It's so weird being back up here. Staying on the same spot that I used to sleep. You picture the summer night perfectly. The worst was when we were, it would start raining and we'd wake up and we'd like dart inside the Apple store to try and you know, get, get it dry. And like the staff and the Apple store employees never really hassled us. You know, never. And it's one of the few like institutions in this in this city that are actually kind when it comes to homeless youth. We wouldn't usually sleep on these benches because they're so small and there's also many of us, so we would just like either be over here sometimes at nighttime. For a long time you could actually sleep on the grass, but they've really kind of cracked down on clearing out places where there are homeless people sleeping because it's an eyesore. Well, one of the main or most reactions is whenever you're hungry. Because for you know, a person who's not homeless, like hunger is not an issue. I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm hungry. Well, let's go food shopping, or oh, there's a deli, let's get a sandwich. But for a homeless youth, when they're hungry, it's like, it's another reminder of your situation and how powerless you are. Whenever you're panhandling, you don't look up or, or side to side, you just look straight ahead. So otherwise, you see all the people looking at your sign, reading it, walking by, or glaring at you, or snickering. When a traveler has a dog with them, People are more likely to buy the dog food as opposed to the, the, the kid food. They'll come out with like a, like a big bag of dog food for the dog and nothing for, for the human. But that's also just how things are. You know, people look, look down upon us and like, without stopping to think that, you know, no, no pro homeless person is on the streets by choice. You know, something in their lives or some events or have led to, him, led to them being on the street. Very rarely you'll get someone who like hands you like a $10 bill, or will hand you a $10 bill and also bring you food. It's those little moments that happen very rarely, but when they do happen, it slightly restores your faith in humanity just a little bit. Just a little bit. As soon as I started living as male full time, everything changed. I became very much more self-confident. I was able to you know begin to be the person that you know I wanted to be.